H-F-U. Hunt Fish University. What bait are we using this morning? We're using thread fin shad this morning. Uh, the bigger the better. Trying to get some six to eight inches long. This lake here is full of shad, but sometimes all you can get by is the three to four inch ones. If you can get the bigger ones, you're going to be in, in a better situation. One of you guys caught these on the lake this morning with a cast net, right? That's correct. You have to get down deep sometimes to get the, the big ones, and you have to get out there pretty early as well yeah. uh, before daylight, and you can catch, uh, catch usually most all the shad you want. Right. We're going to free line about four shad, which means we don't, we're not going to have a weight on them today. We're going to put them out behind the boat about 40 feet and uh, just on some free lines, kind of let them do their thing back there, look real natural. And then we'll put about four on some down lines too with some egg sinkers. It's a basic Carolina rig. Right. And uh, we'll put those down as well. We'll probably start out around 10 or 12 feet deep. Noticed you had a kind of small circle hook. I guess that's light enough that the bait can swim with it. That's correct. I'm using a two alt circle hook. Sometimes I might use a three alt circle hook um, for these baits. I'm not using any real big gizzard shad. Um, so I can get by with something this small and it just makes your bait look real lively, real natural looking. That uh, really makes a difference. He's he, not through. He just made I another good he's, run. He's got a lot, of, a lot more runs left to him. Just keep tension on him. If you let that line go slack, he'll, he'll throw he that hook. He's not all that big, but... Oh, yeah. Four pounds or so. Yeah. <clears throat> he'll do for a start, for sure. Sure. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, they are healthy, aren't they? Nice, healthy striper. Sure is. Yeah. Look at that. It's all right. He'll start. Makes a fine start. Bye bye, buddy. There he goes. All right, let's get rigged up and get another one. Very good. Well, you're you're at the command of the striper right now. That's right. He's gonna probably try to tangle that planer board up, but that'll yeah. be okay. He's uh he's he's pretty good size right here. <clears throat> Here's to be a really good fish. He hit another down line, Joey. Yeah. That's surprising. Uh, the other day we, we caught them all on free lines, but the few strikes we've had today have all been on, on yep. down lines. 10, 12 feet down. 10 to, 10 to 12 feet down. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of people may find it surprising that we're only fishing 10 or 12 feet deep here in mid-June. Uh, Mid-June mid summer striper fishing on, on inland lakes, a lot of people you know, are thinking 20, 30 feet deep. That would be my thinking. But these, I, but these fish are pretty shallow. Yeah, when I saw these egg sinkers, I thought, <coughs> yeah, we're, we're going down on the bottom here. Let's see if you can get him right there. I got him. He's That's got a, a nice fish. He's got a, yeah, a little line on him in there. A little there. tangled there. Okay. Yeah. How big do you think that fish will He may go six, six and a half pounds. Well, they're healthy. Look at the, they really the girth are, on that They really fish. are healthy. They, they, they're feeding right now, yeah. and all the fish I've caught have been real fat. All right, yeah, there you go. Real healthy fish. Yeah. There you go. Now we've got a mess on our hands. Oh, we can fix that. <clears throat> Just hook him right there, that bottom lip, and I used to come out one of the nostrils, left yeah. or right nostril. Try to get him in the water as quick as you can. In the summertime, those shad are real delicate fish. Yeah. And you go about six pulls on this one is 12 feet, right? That's correct. That's a good way of controlling your depth. It sure is. Yeah. And that's been the hot rod this morning. It is. That bait started getting real nervous, Joey, so I started keeping an eye on him, and sure enough, he, he nailed it. That bait got nervous for a reason. That's a good fish there. He about liked the rest of them. I like to try to maybe get into some bigger fish. Well, you catch numbers, they'll get bigger. Yeah, that's true. We'll stay here long enough. We'll pick up a couple nice ones. I think he wants to come on your side, but let's try to get him over here, away from those lines. He's a little better than the last one, I think. Yeah, he's not bad. 
got him, Troy? Yeah, I got him right here. Right there. I tell you, those circle hooks do the job every time, right in the corner of the mouth. That's a nice fish there. He's probably seven and a half pounds. Yeah. Decent, nice, healthy Jordan Lake striper. Good, healthy fish. Nice, healthy fish. Yes. If you love fishing in the great outdoors, you'll love Angler's Bay. AnglersBayStore.com is the official online store of Carolina Outdoor Journal apparel and gifts. From hats, t-shirts, jackets, and more. Angler's Bay features artwork from two of the top marine artists in the country. Speckled trout, red drum, and striped bass are featured with more on the way. Our products make ideal gifts for the angler in your family who enjoys the great sport of fishing. Check us out on the web year-round at AnglersBayStore.com. Good fishing. That sounds good, Joey. Looks like the sun's going to shine for us today. It was kind of overcast when we were here a week or so ago. It was. That's not going to be the case today. It's going to be out and it's going to get hot quick. Good old hot July day. That's right. I think the fish will be a little deeper today since the sun's going to be bright. They will. Yeah. Yeah, they'll probably be down 16, 20 feet. Yeah. Well, let's get rigged up here and see if we can get some action. Still taking some drag. Yeah, still taking some drag. I hear you. Yeah, we'll get to see him in a minute, maybe. All right, here we go. Yeah, this, I think this one may be a striper. Ooh. No, it's a hybrid. Come on up here, buddy. What a solid fish. There you go. Good job. Okay, I got him. Now the hybrids have what these stripes are broken up on them. Yeah, their their lateral lines are broken yeah. instead of solid, and uh, usually they're a little bit fatter, a little bit of a chunkier type a fish. Stockier fish, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they're pretty solid. They are pretty, and they fight well, and they're healthy. Yeah, he's still fresh. A lot of fun. I think I can bring him in right here. Maybe this was a striper, what do you think? It might be. He's he's acting a little striperish. He is acting. He's making those long runs. Yeah. Well, you gonna bring him over where I, where I can see him or not? He's giving this ambassador a workout. <laughs> <laughs> he is giving it a workout. Where we can see him. I got time to drink a Pepsi or well, what? Well, go ahead. Get you a little Debbie. Yeah. <laughs> a little Debbie King. Get you an oatmeal pie. There you go. I think I might have a a record striper here. Yeah. I hope so. All right, just ease them right here. Very well, nice. You almost don't have enough net. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, that's a good fish. That's there. a real good fish. Yeah. Well, that's actually a hybrid, isn't it? It is a hybrid, but it's a lot bigger hybrid than we've been catching. That's a nice fish. Well, look how solid that fish is. He'd probably go eight pounds. I think he will. And that circle hook did a good job yes, on that it did. one. Look, look at that. There. It's a pretty fish. You can definitely tell the difference in the stripers and the hybrids, the way those lateral lines are broken up. Pretty fish. Nice job, Troy. Appreciate it. There you go. There she goes. All right. Very good. Let's do that again. Let's bait up. Well, Troy, we went an hour without a bite. Now we've gone 15 minutes with several bites. Feast or famine, isn't it, yeah. Joey? No. And we've we pulled up on a creek here that runs under a bridge, and there's, for some reason, there's a pot of fish right there. I wonder, was wind changed or, or why, why those fish are there today? Well, those fish are actually there today from something that happened yesterday. The wind was coming out of the south at a good 10 to 15 all day long. Had a lot of bait fish bunched up here around these pylons, around this bridge. There was a lot of current moving through there. Uh, stripers and hybrids like, like a lot of current, and, and of course they're going to go where there's some bait fish. So those fish were here yesterday evening. It just turns out they're, they're still here this morning, even though the winds died down for us. Mother Nature held them up one more day. It sure did. We, there we go. I tell you, we got a big one on the back here. Hey, we, look at the look at the shad jumping. Yeah. Look at the shad jumping on the water. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna get out of your way and get over here on this side. Okay. 
You still got that one on? Still got him on. I think you got a nice one there. Yeah, he, he is really ripping some drag This out one here. wants to play too. What a strong fish. Yeah, they are. And there's a, certainly a big school of them. He's still pulling drag, Troy. That's, this fish been running for probably 45 seconds or so. Hey. <laughs> pretty, isn't it? That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's good work. They are here. Yeah, I'm gonna need a net on this fish. I'll get a net for you. All right, you ready? Here he comes. Oh there yeah, look job. at that. Good job. <laughs> Another eight pound hybrid. Yeah. Good job. He was a boss. Okay. All right. What you doing with my pliers? They're right on the seat there. There you go. Oh, that's a healthy fish. <laughs> that is a nice that. fish. They are nothing, solid. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. If you love fishing in the great outdoors, you'll love Angler's Bay. AnglersBayStore.com is the official online store of Carolina Outdoor Journal apparel and gifts. From hats, t-shirts, jackets, and more. Angler's Bay features artwork from two of the top marine artists in the country. Speckled trout, red drum, and striped bass are featured with more on the way. Our products make ideal gifts for the angler in your family who enjoys the great sport of fishing. Check us out on the web year-round at AnglersBayStore.com. Good fishing. Troy, we've had two real good days out on the lake here at Jordan. We caught stripers a couple of weeks ago, and then I had to go to work, of course, and had to slip back out today, and we managed to get on some real nice hybrids this morning. I'm glad you could come back, Joey. Uh, you know, I had a good time with you today. We did catch some stripers uh, a couple weeks ago, but now we're getting into the middle of the summer here, and sometimes those stripers uh, are just always on the move. Kind of, you know, they can be hard to find, but uh, we were lucky enough today to get on some hybrids. I'd heard they've been catching some past couple of days and when we got there as you know well know it didn't take long did it yeah that that turns into a fire drill in a hurry yes it does and uh, we picked up a few nice ones too so yeah, we, had, we still had a good day yeah real good day as far as your equipment goes you basically use the same outfit for for either fish so so that way you you can fish if you catch stripers fine if you catch hybrids fine because we're using basically the same rod and reel same hook setup bait and everything that's right i'm using a standard striper rig here uh uh, for inland waterways, uh, a lot of live bait fishermen are going to want to use the Ambassador Ambu Garcia. It's a 6500 C3 um, reel, uh, standard seven foot rod. Uh, probably want to try to go medium action, uh, seven foot, one piece rod. I'm using a uh, 15 pound test. You might want to go as high as 17, but uh, you can try to keep it between 15, 17 out here on, on this lake anyway. And then as far as my, my rig here, uh, using about a one and a half ounce lead weight. Uh, underneath that, I'm, I've just tied a standard uh, barrel swivel. And then I've got myself about a three, four foot leader here. And then uh, I really like these circle hooks. I'm using a three alt uh, red circle hook. Um, it just really, really helps out with hook sets and, uh, and quick releases of fish, you know, is also. And, and that's basically a standard rig as far as uh, your rod and reel goes. I noticed the drags were set fairly loose. I mean, the fish are just running. We're catching them 10, 12 foot deep, but the water's 28 to 30 feet, so plenty of water for them to run and take drag, and just just makes the fight a lot better. When they first, you know, grab that bait, uh, that initial contact, they can go ahead and break your line if yeah. you if you don't have your drag set right. And as you well know, the stripers like to make a lot of long, powerful runs and. And, uh, they, and that's another way you can break your line. So I try to keep my drag set a little loose. Yeah. Well, you're not fishing in any heavy structure, like that's right. a stump field or something. So that's it right. works good. The, the rod holders also, I thought, were very neat. The way you could set the different angles on the boat to keep your line separated from you know, getting tangled. 
you can have a mess when you get a lot of rods together and they get tangled up. Uh, the baits can swim in together, or if you get a fish makes a run, they can one fish can tangle eight or nine rods. Right. So uh, I, I really like these rod holders. I'm able to space them out evenly across my boat, and like you said, set them out at different angles to yeah. keep them away from each other. And they work. You know, fish hits, lift them up. You got your rod free to fight the fish. They they really work well. Uh, they really do. Uh, these are down east rod holders and. Uh, they make a great product, been making them for years. Yeah. Well, you've just got the boat set up just ideal for what you're doing. You do. Um, uh, what we're doing is live bait fishing. We're slow trolling with live bait. So you want to have a good trolling motor. Uh, I'm using a Minn Kota um, autopilot trolling motor. I'm able to sit back here with a long 18-foot power cord and just control that uh, boat where I need it to be. But I can also sit back and watch my graph. Um, you need a real good graph where you're able to pick up uh, not only schools of fish, but schools of bait fish as well. That's right. just as important. And uh, I keep the sensitivity set real high so I'm able to pick up a lot of bait fish. I'm able to pick up the thermocline this time of year and, uh, and you know, schools of stripers as well. Yeah, that thermocline dictates where that oxygen level's at, I guess. That's right. You're not going to find uh, hardly any oxygen below the thermocline, so right. all the fish are generally going to be above that. Um, above that level so yeah. that's a good indicator because it's a lot cooler at the thermocline so a lot of fish will tend to hang out right there and uh, but then they'll come up a few feet uh, to feed and, uh, and to, you know to get oxygen so yeah. generally that's a good indicator. Well it, it all worked really well I really enjoyed it. I had a great Hope time. Come back and do it again. Hey I'd love to. Yeah.